sweet. That's sweet. A nice curve. Um, here's my header. Driver's side is pretty much done. Almost. Um, normally they put this little pipe. Let me go get it. It's right here. Behind my cardboard for patterning. Normally they put this little pipe. And they weld it under here. And then they run it under the car. And they connect it to the exhaust and stuff. Perfect. Can't even see it. <laughs> now it's time for number two. Right there and right there. And here's the flange. Now I put the flange so it was there to there, it was straight up while it's bolted to the edge and so I got the other one on I gotta put the uh, flange on and mark it. I'm just gonna tack it and have it all TIG welded. Whew. A lot of work grinding man. Blowing holes with this thing. Grinding holes with that thing. Cleaning it up with that thing. Looks good. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, a little bit. Time to do the other side. Now, like I said, number one is done. Can't really see it. Number two, um, what I did is I took the flange, if I can find the flange, right in front of me, and I held it against the body, and I spaced it away. It was uh, two inches, and what I want is the edge of this flush with the edge of the face of the second, the other flange. That's going to be about right there when I'm done. And um, like I said, I spaced it where I wanted. I set it at a 30 degree angle. So it kind of points down and under the car. Let's see if I can show you that. You see it under there? There it is. So it goes, it can hook under the car, not be in the way, it looks stupid. Um, what I do first is I soften it up with a flapper wheel and might cut into it a little with the grinding wheel and then it's all about the round stone. And I'll just get it so it's just about to fall in that hole and you gotta kind of tap it in. And then I'll bring it over to Don's and tack it. Like I did there and there. But the flange is on. Here to here is a perfect 90. Just like this one. See when it's on the car, it's a perfect 90. That's how I wanted it. For reasons I will show you later. <laughs> I still haven't done these pipes on this one. Uh, I wanted to get the flange in and then I'll mess with those. They're all over the place over here. All right, still having fun.
just kind of square it up, tack it on, and hopefully do the rest of the pipes. There's nothing. I still gotta mark it and grind the other side. But I was getting it square here to here. And uh gotta make a mark and start grinding the big tube. But this one's tacked in also. And I'm over here in the dark pretty much. I don't know what happened, but I had this, uh, the flange bolted to a piece of angle line over at Don's house. Actually, it wasn't even angle line. It was, an, it was a railroad tie or an I-beam. It was a big I-beam. That's what it was. And uh, we just did little tacks. But I, like I said, I've been out here all day messing with this. Taking this one off and on and making this one work. Making this one work. You get it? <laughs> There's a little hands joke with, uh, I got, I spoke to him this morning and I cannot remember his name now. I'm so sorry. That's pretty cool. Get rid of these stupid things. <sighs> so, hopefully this will go to, uh, Kenny. And then he can, uh, pull them all out. And I can just paint the things, put them on, and be done with them. I actually have to make... Two of those flanges because they don't give them with to uh, give them with the kit. They only give you the ones that go on it. They don't give the ones on the other side. Actually, I gotta measure that while I'm here. What size is that a hole? That is. If I can see it. Ooh, perfect. Two inch. So that's two inch pipe. Two inch, uh, four and an eighth long. The outside flange is. Two and three quarters round. Those slots are one, two, half inch slots. Even a lot of room. And this way they are one, two, three, four, five. Jesus. Three quarters of an inch. Um, I'm going to have to redraw this. Half inch bolts. That's, that's freaking crazy. This thing's huge. But I put the end of the flange with the end of this flange like that. See it? And I laid it horizontally so there wasn't bolts up sticking up top. Um, if anything, the nut will go here. There's plenty of play because they're slotted. But I am going in, boys and girls. Hide your angle finder. Move your wrench. Come look in there. Have a good night. You like that one? I like that one. I like that one. Remembered it now. The other, today, I was talking to Del Boy of Del Boy's Garage, and I was talking to him about the hand motions and how he whips around the camera. I'm like, whoa, whoa, slow down. I didn't know if he had that 10-minute uh, rule like I had, where you got 10 minutes to make this video, and it may, it may seem like a lot of time, but you're going like this, like this, like this, look at this, see this, see this, you know what I mean? And then, bang, it's over. You're out of the time. you got to make six videos for uh, to describe something. Unless you're meticulous. Look at that bowling pin. That sucker's going nowhere. You could run up and grab that and try to run. It's going to stay there. It's got a bolt going probably that high into it. That expands. And it's bolted out with a 3 16 bolt.
from the inside of that quarter inch steel plate, it is not moving. That one's got the same thing. Whew. It was a beautiful day, and then all of a sudden, it just got like wicked dark and it started blowing like mad. Look how dark it is. It's only like 8 o'clock. My Jeep's still dead. Mark's car runs good. Damn. Okay. Good night, people. I am going in. See ya.